Hello, here you have us in Africa. Today it's our third video. We're going to talk today about one of the most amazing tools for anyone working in security operation center as SOC analyst, incident response, threat hunter, threat intelligence, or anything like this, forensic and so on. I mean, you already know this tool, like you see the dashboard, Varis Total. Who does it know Varis Total? I mean, if you don't know, don't worry. We, we're going to explain what is Varis Total, why should you use Varis Total. I mean, you are not working in SOC Operation Center. You are just a normal person who wants to analyze some kind of indicator. You can use Varis Total. So what is Varis Total? It's simple. Like you see the name or you hear the name Varis Total. So this tool will help you to analyze any type of virus first or any type of malware or any type of indicator like hash domain ips url or anything that can help you to detect any cyber threat attack or anything like phishing or anything that can compromise your organization so those are usually called indicator of compromise so when we talk about virus total we have two ways of using this amazing tool the first is the community mod and the second one it's the normal mod so here you have the community you don't have to log in yes you can use it analyze things search upload files and anything you want but in our case we will use the the, the normal mod where we are logged here you see my name i'm actually logged there but when you log there still the version you are going to use compared to the community version when you are not logged is a bit different you have more visibility but if you don't pay you still want more feature as if you pay because various sota has many feature threat hunting threat intel and just to analyze like any anyone can do yes in, any indicator yes but we we don't pay actually so we're gonna just explain how you can you know analyze some type of indicators like ip domain and anything like this in various total when we are logged but still community version yeah so first when you log you see file url and search the file can help you to upload a file or executable file yes you click on upload you want to analyze something you just click here you upload and it will search and scan it and give you more information and the other option is url you type any url here it will analyze the url and give you the information about the url search as well here you can type url ip domain file hash or anything it will analyze it for you so let's give some example about this amazing tool let's start by this domain First, you have a domain you want to analyze. Yes, you, you, you take the domain, you put here, you click search. You, uh, it will search is really fast, just like less than five seconds, I think. Yes, so so you get the dashboard, you get the score, the community score. The score is based on different, you know, vendors like uh, those antiviruses. Yes, they analyze it, they give the score. So you see how many antiviruses were able to detect it and how many did it detect it. Yes so you, you have the score 17 out of 94 and 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 you can check if you have your antivirus or not if you don't have your antivirus which means that you know uh, you, you need to wonder yourself why your antivirus cannot detect something like this so maybe you can submit this uh, indicator to them maybe they will put it in their database that's also possible yeah so you can click also on details when you click on details you have a lot of information first well, this is register, yes, registrar, Gandhi SAS, creation date three months ago. Last time it was analyzed, you know, from various total four days ago. So you have a lot of information. The DNSA, yes, you have value. It actually, it's resolving, it's behind this IP address. The mail exchange, so it has a mail exchange, which means it can send a phishing to somebody. The, the name server it's on this those name servers 
it, it has a lot of information. You, you can click and expand this and get some information. You have some information about the certificate, the, the jar and fingerprint, you know, where is actually subject name. This is subject name from the certificate. Probably it has some relationship with this subject name. Yes, maybe the same fake actor somehow. You can go down when it was created in February. Yeah, it's it was created in February, which February just like four months ago, something like this. Yes, it can be you know some type of domain created by some threat actors, so they're doing bad things. And Google result. If you type this domain now, those are the information you will see in Google, which is amazing. Yeah, we see everything. Yes. Okay, uh, Joe Sandbox also analyze it. You can click on it and go to Joe Sandbox. Let's go on relation. You click on relation, you see some relation with some IP. We saw all, already this IP, another IP, maybe it was resolving on this IP before, and it changed or somewhere, some type of relationship, you know. So we see different IP, This the, the domain were in touch, uh, you know, with those IPs, maybe resolving, yeah, you see resolver, yes, yeah? so they use probably different IPs, and various total allows us to see all those information. Subdomains, some subdomain related, yes, so we, we, we okay, those IPs again, appearing, yes, yeah? so they're using different IPs, and the files related to this, that's suspicious. So I told you before there was the MX record which means probably they can send a phishing email to somebody you click you install those you know files which are malicious yes we can also you know click on those if you want to get more information this is something with zip so they can maybe send you contract fake email contract you click on it and you get hack yes so you have a lot of information those are some domain okay that was the, the ss SSL certificate we saw somehow they, they, they are all related. Okay? So what you can do also you can collect those indicator and upload in your environment with your CM or EDR and scan. That's possible. For example, if it was detected by your antivirus, you can also make it to see if you can get more information. You have community. Community also, you know, people give you more information about Luma Stealer Command and Control. So we, we click on this file. I was talking when we started about I was talking about how you can upload the file. You can also upload the file. If you upload, it will scan the file and give you similar information. Yes. So you, you see everything. Yeah, we see it's P it's an executable file, check user input, malware, overlay, spreader, it's you know, the size of the file, month ago. It's giving you a lot of information, details, you know, the antiviruses that can detect this actually. That's quite interesting. If you don't see uh, antivirus here, this, that's not my problem. Yes, I told you you can submit to them or upload those indicator and run it in your organization and check it there. Yes, so you have details. Details. Those are different type of hashes to detect the same type of file. Yes, so so you have a lot of information. Visual C++, maybe the code is written in C++, yes, the compiler, yeah, we see, so we, we, we see a lot of information, actually, and when it was submitted, you know, 2023, you know, so it has no, it's not signed, that's a sign that it can be, because when it's normal application from well-known company, it's usually signed, yes, so it's not signed, that's another hint also. You can expand and get more information about those, the certificate, you know, from which company they got the certificate and so on. And, and, and you see a lot of information, the entropy. You can check at the entropy. Usually the entropy from seven to eight or more means usually the file was, was parked. But in this case, it's not parked. We believe it's executable already, yes? Yeah? So that's, that's possible, yes? when you look at the entropy to guess that the file is parked or not. So we, we, we got a lot of information, relationship, relationship to that domain again, another domain probably they're using, PW, I don't know PW, which country it is, and I don't know, you can check it, .pw, you know, and get some information about those, you know, uh, type of uh, domain, yes? And uh, contacted domain, yes. So they are using those domain and send the phishing probably to different user. When it's the file was scanned, and you know you have some information. You have eight 
I uh, contacted IP, three domains, six bundle file, the URL contacted. Now we got a lot of information, the, the behavior of the file. You can check the behavior, matter attack, and, you know, capability, data manipulation, load code, maybe injecting something, link, you know, host interaction, a lot of information, you know, those are the HTTP post request, maybe when they steal your credential, they send in the post request somewhere, yes, that, that, that can be possible, yeah, so those are the DNS, the IP contacted, and, you know, and some domain from the certificate probably, the memory pattern, you know, you have a lot of information from different entities, you know, the, 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 the file open, probably the creative file the open, this is something strange, you know, the file that are open, share folder, usually for persistency, which means the file will still be there even if you restart, yes, maybe you need to re-image the system, that's the file that was, you know, open and stuff, so file created, some kind of executable created and the file, this file was created, yes, and they open it, yes, so, so they run it later, yes, so we, we start to see more information about this. I mean, we, we're just showing you how, what you can find in various total, that's the idea, yeah, so, okay, here we have, you know, different information, yes, about this file behavior, those function views, you know, you know, uh, by this file, you know, based on everything we found to say that, okay, this file is sending HTTP post, some real IP address and stuff. We should not trust this. So let's check for the IP as well. Because we, we check the domain, the hash as well, the file as well, and the IP. The IP also, the same information, 5 out of 94. You can check, you know, which antivirus saw it or not. Nine days ago, and details, you know, you have a lot of information. It's from Netherlands, you know, autonomy system, Nebula, you know, you can check it online, you know, get more information about that, you know. So, so, so now we, we see a lot of information about this Google result about the IP, ABS IP, we also probably talk about the community information about this. So, and port scan, yes, so, so, so based on what we found, this is how we can analyze different type of indicator, yes, but the virus total goes behind it. If you pay the version, like pay, pay version, you have a lot of future, like, uh, how to say, threat hunting, threat intel, but we, we just use the community version, so we just uh, analyze normal type of indicators. So, it's over for today. I mean, if you want us to talk about any tool, feel free to write it in the comment, uh, in the comments, sorry. If you have also any question, ask any question you want, we will be happy to, I mean, provide feedback. Feel free to subscribe. It was Osit Africa. See you soon.